Restriction enzymes are proteins that cleave DNA at or near a recognition sequence specific to that enzyme. They are used extensively in genetic engineering to splice out regions of a larger DNA at specific positions. ECHOR1 is one of the most popular restriction enzymes. Its recognition sequence is GAATTC. Notice that like many other restriction enzymes, this recognition site is palindromic, meaning that the recognition site is identical to its reverse complement. ECHOR1 cuts the DNA at the triangles, resulting in four base pair overhangs on the newly formed ends. These extended sequences are referred to as sticky ends or compatible cohesive ends. Some enzymes, such as SMA1, cuts at the same place on both strands, resulting in blunt ends. Type 2S restriction enzymes, such as BSA1, recognize a specific sequence, but they cut the DNA at sites outside of that sequence. In this notation, N represents any base pair, and the subscript indicates how many ends are present. Thus, BSA1 binds to GGT CTC sites and cuts one base pair away on the top strand and five base pairs away on the opposing strand. It cuts on the three prime side of the recognition sequence GGT CTC regardless of the downstream sequence. Thus, the sticky end corresponds to the sequence adjacent to the restriction site. Many different types of cuts can be made by restriction enzymes. Some make a blunt cut that has no overhang, others make overhangs of different sizes, and some make cuts outside of the recognition site. To know how a restriction enzyme cuts, you can look it up on a website such as New England Biolabs or Rebase.